It was my first princess cruise, and I sailed the first U.S. revenue sailing of the Sun Princess. While by the last day I had formed my opinion on princess, I wondered if my experience on the ship was unique to the Sun Princess or transferable across the entire line. So that's when I thought to talk to Paul Bromfield of Travel with PMB, an experienced princess cruiser, about his thoughts on the Sun Princess. Is it different or better than other princess ships? Let's find out. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Cheryl, also known as Zig Cruiser, solo introvert and gluten-free cruiser. I am on my first ever princess sailing and I am on the Sun Princess. And I have a special guest with me today, <laughs> and I wanted a chance to talk to Paul because he is experienced on Princess, and he is on this inaugural sailing as well. So first thing I want to do is for have you to introduce yourself, tell us your name, your channel, and I heard that you're a travel agent too. Paul Brumfield travels with PMB, and I also am a travel agent as well. Been a travel agent for a little bit over one year, and I've been a YouTuber over. A little bit over two years now. Okay. Now we're just gonna jump right into it. What are your thoughts about the Sun Princess so far? Now I know you got vlogs coming out, so I'm, I know you're not gonna give away everything. Yeah. But tell us, can what thoughts can you share? So in terms of Sun Princess compared to other princess ships that I've been, mm -hmm. it's definitely different. It is a beautiful ship. I think that some of the places on this ship. I felt like they wanted more cabins than actual spaces uh -huh. for entertainment. Mm -hmm. And so if you come on this ship, for example, Princess Live, if you've ever been on another princess ship, mm -hmm. Princess Live would have been the main hub for a lot of outside entertainment really? okay. that was not in the Princess Theater. Here uh -huh. they call it the Princess Arena. Mm -hmm. And so here they were using the Piazza a lot. It's a lot more specialty restaurants. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot more options for you for those individuals that like specialty restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, there are different areas on the ship, like the sanctuary. And so that ship in type, in a ship kind of concept, with a lot of ships are doing now. And so if you want to spend a little extra money and you want that exclusive type of area, they do have that he here. And so I think it's a beautiful ship. It's a great ship. It's very different. And there's some things that I think needs improving. But for the most part, I think it's a great ship that you should try out for yourself. Okay. So uh, you sail Princess before now. How many times have you sailed Princess? And like what other ships? I think this is the sixth or the seventh sailing. Okay. So I've done Enchanted Princess, Discovery Princess. Mm -hmm. I did Ruby Princess. I did Caribbean Princess. And this is here, Sun Princess. So okay. I think it's sixth sailing, yeah. Oh. So, and you're saying so the Sun Princess is different from all of those other ships that you said? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's better, uh -huh. but it's different. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think there's certain things that they need to work out the kinks with. I think it's probably the one of the most beautiful ships they uh -huh. have. But, but one of my favorite ships for Princess also was Discovery. Okay. And Discovery was a beautiful ship. That was the last class before they came into this this new class of ship. I would say it's different. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it would be better. And if you're an individual that have sailed Princess before, it's definitely something you have to get used to in terms of the configuration, in terms of where everything is. A lot of the food venues are on the lower levels. They have some things up here like Luda, but for example, the eatery, which is the buffet, is on the lower levels. Mm -hmm. I've never been on a ship where the buffet was on the lower level has always been on the top deck. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of gives you more space up here for entertainment, but they did have some entertainment that they had to take away. And it was supposed to be this big sports entertainment area. So there was some space that I feel like is not utilized now in the back of the ship. Mm -hmm. And so they have this dome, which is a new experience, which is beautiful. Um, you know, <laughs> some things that could be better, yeah, right? Which, um, co concerning this dome, but I love the dome. Mm -hmm. I think on this ship also, they have so much free food more than any other. Uh -huh. Like you could eat yourself into a coma. It's so much. And then, then when after free food, then the specialty restaurants. And then like, it's, this is a five day cruise mm -hmm. and I could not eat at all the specialty restaurants uh -huh. within a five days. It would just be too much. 
Okay. Now I have a question. Um, now I specialize in solo cruising, but I understand you do solo cruising as well, right? Yes, I do solo cruising as well. Sometimes I just can't get anybody to go with me. <laughs> <laughs> can't get a can't get a friend. I can't get a family member. Whatever people don't have the money, they don't have the time off. Whatever it is, and so there's some cruises that I have done solo. Okay. And have you uh, done princess solo? Yes, I did princess solo for my birthday. Okay. So one time for that that was Caribbean princess. Okay. I did. Now one thing I noticed now I know that this ship has four solo cabins. A lot of ships now, a lot of cruise lines now are catering to solo cruisers, especially if they have the solo cabins where they'll have solo meetups. Now I didn't see anything listed on this ship. Have you seen like solo meetups listed on other princess ships? No. So that's the thing about um, princess. They don't really cater to the solo cruiser. Um, they, they they really don't. They don't have solo meetups like I've seen like I've seen on like Norwegian. I've seen that on Carnival. You know, even though like Carnival, for example, is not scheduled. You just kind of meet up at the Alcabi Bar. But they don't have anything of that on the agenda. They'll have like single occupancy rate for select cruises. Okay. So it's not for every cruise. And so like maybe they'll try to like draw some individuals in maybe they're underfilled and so then for those cruises they'll decide let's offer some single occupancy rate for those individuals and usually those are longer cruises as well so like so these short cruises that you're trying to get away they don't always offer it and if they offer it is a really small amount so that's the one thing they really don't cater to the solo cruiser like other people are trying to do. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if a solo cruiser books double occupancy for the loyalty program, they get double points. Exactly. Okay. If you get double the sailing. I think it's um, 15 sailings mm -hmm. and you could get to like elite. I love their loyalty program because of that because I'm not solo in terms of being by myself on the cruise ship, but in my cabin, I'm solo. Okay. And so they give you like double for being in that cabin by yourself. So even though you're paying more, yeah. the fact that you get to get to their loyalty level much quicker mm -hmm. is such a benefit. I've okay. I've sailed Carnival, I've sailed other ships and they have not given me that benefit. Okay. And so that's the thing. I may not have like this sailing I'm here with my sister, but I'm in the my cabin by myself. Oh, okay. And so they have a special going on for for this sailing so I could get it four times. Okay. So not only two times, four times. So like okay. it's, it's giving me an access to get to elite status even okay. quicker than ever before. The last thing I want to ask about is entertainment uh, as far as the club scene on other princess ships. Have you been to the club on this ship? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, okay. Well, it's actually to me, it was, I mean, the music was actually great. It's just that the amount of people, a lot of people in attendance. And so that's the one thing I'm wondering about. Is the demographic the same on this ship as others and the whole club scene, if there is a club scene on other ships? So the demographics is more or less the same. Okay. It varies in ages. Um, you can see people in here in their 20s, 30s, all the way up. So I know a lot of times people think that Princess is just like an older demographic, an older base, and some people joke that it's like a geriatric population, mm -hmm. but it's not like that. Especially during the summer months, you will see a lot of kids, teenagers on this ship. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the club, some of the older ships have like a designated like area where it would be for the club. but a lot of the newer ships they've kind of gotten away from that and i think it's because they know that the demographics in general is older and so they don't have like a set like saying okay this is the nightclub right like some other ships may have and so they may have parties and but it's not like the same vibe as saying you're going to an actual club um, on a ship. Um, say for example, the one I was on, the Discovery, they'll have like a jazz lounge and so like, you know, and so like some of the spaces that they may have that would have been for clubs, they may have it for events. So to have a DJ even in the dome is kind of like a party, but you know, it's kind of like, that's what they kind of like term it as. They kind of like, oh, there's a, there's a deck party or there's a party in the dome or, but they, you know, and, but they won't say like, this is the club. <laughs> They'll have a deck party, but they'll have a live band and singers. But there's nobody orchestrating the moves. Nobody's in the mic and say, do this, go to the left, do the right. You know, there's nobody really doing that. And even though they have, they have people of the staff mm -hmm. that was there at the party last night, but you, they were kind of dancing and they weren't 
they, you can move with them or you could do whatever you want with them and dance with them, but nobody was kind of like gathering people on the dance floor, a coordinated effort to come and dance together. Yeah, okay. so it is definitely different. Okay. Yeah. Your final opinion, who do you think Princess in general is for? Who would like to sell Princess? All right, so if you're somebody that loves a lot of parties, this is not for you. Okay. Right? If you're a party, party person, you like that level of excitement all the time, this is not for you. If you like to have like a balance of music, fun, entertainment, quality food, you know, times to be able to just relax and just chill out, you know, because I see a lot of people on these cruise ships at times, especially on sea days, they just want to relax. Yeah right yeah. like sometimes like say for example carnival like you're on the lido deck you'll have the you'll have the tin pan pl playing you'll have like all these activities uh -huh. going on but maybe sometimes you just want to like yeah you just want to come and relax so it's kind of giving you those resort vibes yeah, like an all-inclusive resort uh -huh. they'll give you the energy but it won't be all the time you'll have the the deck parties but they don't kind of like force you to have it it's like it's available for you mm -hmm. and it's up to you to like Come and get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know, come and get it. You could dance if you want to, but they're not kind of like trying to coordinate everything for you. Mm -hmm. But they have tons of tons of things to do during the day and at night. So I don't feel like you'll ever be bored because they always have something going on during the day. Mm -hmm. Shows and entertainment I've never seen on any other ship. Like yesterday was the Yes and Nail game show. For those people who love Love and Marriage show, they have that here as well. Mm -hmm. They have the production shows at night. For those people that love production shows, okay. they have that. They have the casino. If you have children, they do have kids clubs here mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And they have a club 1820. So for individuals who's transitioned from over 17, uh -huh. they can be in that 18 to 20 club, cu club and still find individuals in their age range mm -hmm. that they could enjoy and have a time with as well. So I think it can be for all ages. I think you can find something here. So when can they come to your channel to see your vlogs? As soon as I get home, it's time to work. <laughs> um, I am going to put out a vlog as early as Wednesday. So I have restaurant reviews. Um, I went around the ship. I have my daily vlogs. We did go to Grand Turk and we did go to Amber Cove. So mm -hmm. I did excursions for both of those. And so I showed you what I did and, and went around. Amber Cove was such a long day. It was like a five and a half hour <laughs> Or when I tell you it was a long day. Do you have a normal schedule that you do? So I'll do either three times a week or two times a week, but it's usually Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays I would do a live okay. around six o'clock, but I'm always doing something usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on my channel. And can they find you on any other social media? So on my social media, Facebook and, and Instagram would be Paul M. Brumfield. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my YouTube is Trials with PMB, okay. so you could try to find me on there. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I hope that you will tune into Paul's channel as well. He's going to have some great vlogs coming out because he has a lot more content on this ship <laughs> than I do. But also, he has that experience where he can tell you the differences between, you know, this uh, princess ship and other princess ships. So I hope that you will subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you so much. Thank you much for inviting me. It was All a pleasure. Right. Thank you for sitting down and chatting with me. I really appreciate it. Had a great time. Right. Thank you. All right. All right, everybody. That's it for us. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye.